What's good YouTube? In this video, we're gonna go over the legend tier list. Every legend can be the best legend and every legend can also be the worst legend. It just depends on how you use that legend and how you use their abilities, just how your playstyle is, right? If your playstyle does not connect with the legend that you're using, as in their abilities, then that legend will probably not be the best because of how you're using that legend. But if you're using that legend to its full potential and you're using the abilities the best that you can, then you can for sure maximize your potential and that legend is a for sure top tier legend so i wanted to get that out of the way to explain that every legend can be the best and every legend can be the worst so in this legend tier list we're going to be ranking it from s tier a tier b tier c tier and the worst tier is the d tier at the end of the video or towards the end i will have the chart with all of the legends and what tier they are in but for here we're going to explain one by one now first we have bloodhound and bloodhound i have him in the s tier i was debating about putting him a tier or s tier but i decided to go with s tier the reason being is because of his knowledge and his information that he brings to the game i think out of all the legends that could do what he does he does it the best with his scans compared to characters like seer and crypto the only reason why I debated him in the A tier was because of the nerfs that he's been getting towards arenas where his abilities cost more now. And they gave him one less for his ultimate when it comes to the scans. You can now only scan two times when you're in his ult compared to last season when it was three. Now the next legend we're going to talk about is Gibraltar. Gibraltar I easily have at S tier. I think he is a top tier legend in the game. He is a legend that can do everything, right? You want to talk about being aggressive. You individually can be aggressive. Plus with a team, it's, it's beautiful how it works. Also, if you want to talk about being defensive, I mean, with his gun shield, you're, you have extra health and you get that health back because of his gun shield coming back. I mean, he is a top tier legend. I will have a legend guide with him coming out soon this week. So look out for that and I will be explaining in full detail. So then the third legend that we're gonna be talking about is Lifeline. Lifeline is S tier. I know that all these legends I'm talking about so far have been S tier, but soon there can only be so many in S tier. I have Lifeline S tier. I don't think she really needs any explanation. I mean, she's a legend that can turn a game all the way around if you are down a person, instantly res and you knock the enemies. I mean, and then, then it becomes a 3v2 in your favor. I mean, Lifeline is a legend that can clutch it up easily compared to all other legends. Now, the fourth legend, which is the last legend I have on the S tier list is Pathfinder. Pathfinder is a legend where I feel like he can single-handedly dominate the game. I mean, when you talk about his mobility, I think his mobility is the best in the game from an individual standpoint and also from a team aspect standpoint. Pathfinder is the reason why I feel like I got to Masters in arenas. Yeah, this dude, he's, he's one of the best. If you can learn his grapples, understand his grapples, and get to the best spots in the game, which I feel like he's the best to do it, you can easily just dominate the round or dominate the game. Now, the fifth legend that we're gonna be talking about is Wraith. Wraith I have in the B tier. So this is the first legend that is not in the S tier and Wraith is in the B tier for me. The reason being is because she is a good legend. I think one of the best things about her in my opinion is her two abilities, the fact that she can phase. The best ability that in my opinion that she has is the portal. I think that it costs only 150 materials and it, you could get it every round, which is good. You could definitely get creative with it. But I feel like Wraith is more of a solo legend. But I feel like in order to be a higher tier legend, you have to have the ability to help your teammates uh, a lot compared to these other legends. And I feel like Wraith's abilities are more towards uh, solo. So with that, I have Wraith in the B tier. Then the next legend that we have is Bangalore. Bangalore is very confusing to me. I feel like she is either a B tier or she is a C tier. If you're playing as a team, I have Bangalore as a B tier. If you're playing solo as a Bangalore, I feel like Bangalore is a C, uh, C tier. The reason being is just because I feel like for C is because 
she does disrupt your teammates you know with her smokes if you're not you know communicating to your teammates you're gonna smoke something then you can definitely throw you, your teammates off just like you can throw your enemies off but the best thing you to do with the Bangalore is to communicate with the team and tell them to grab digi threats and things like that uh, that would definitely help out but to put it in this video i'm gonna put Bangalore in the b tier now the next legend is caustic caustic i have for arenas in the d tier i think he is in the worst tier i do think he is a good legend i to be fair i don't play him but you never really see caustics in arenas reason being is just because his abilities well at least it's tactical don't, don't really do much not only that his ultimate is the best thing but i'm pretty sure his ultimate you get every three rounds so you know it's not really worth it playing caustic you could definitely be playing other legends but at the end of the day caustic is yeah in my opinion probably one of the worst in arenas but one of the best in uh, battle royale now we have mirage mirage i have in the c tier now he's not a legend that belongs in the worst tier but uh mirage is more of a individual type of legend uh, he doesn't really offer that much when it comes to team aspect that is the reason why i have him in lower tier uh he doesn't really have any mobility so he can't take teams to you know a place faster he's not able to give information with the team uh he's more of an individual where he could trick the team or the enemies yeah so i have him in c tier now the next legend that we have on this list is octane and this may surprise some of you guys but i have octane in the a tier I do not have him in the S tier due to the recent nerfs that have been going on with him. I think the jump pad nerf was a big one. Um, in multiple aspects, the nerf gave him. He can't go as far with the jump pad and the jump pad now has noise. So you can hear people jump padding on you and that gives people time to react. So with that, I have Octane in the A tier. Still a very good legend though. Now the next legend that we have is Watson and Watson got a big buff this season, but with her buff, um unless if you're playing as a team i don't really see it working as much you know maybe you could set up play defensively with her old but at the end of the day i have watson in the c tier um i don't think she's the worst i do think she's better than caustic when it comes to arenas yeah, not that much so with that i have her as c tier now the next legend that we have is crypto and crypto is a legend that i haven't been playing a lot in this season uh, i think he's a very helpful legend but i do have him at the a tier i think that may surprise some of you guys but with the legend guy that i have coming up with crypto you guys will see why he is a high tier legend and why i have him on a tier i think with his abilities to have the scan helps out a lot with your teammates and he is the only legend in the game where you could probably guarantee a winning on a on a round with his ultimate because his ultimate can for sure guarantee you a win now we have revenant revenant i have in d tier i think revenant so we were just talking about crypto and how his ult could win you around revenant it, some people may say the same with revenant but revenant in my opinion i do not see that just because of the nurse with octane in his jump pad and with revenant and his ult getting nerfed as well it's very similar to like a lobo's ult where you could hear and see where the revenant is putting his ult so it's, you can't surprise people with revenant's ultimate uh revenant i just i just don't see it you know i haven't been tier with caustic now we have loba loba is a good legend in my opinion I feel like both of her abilities definitely do bring something to the table when it comes to arenas. But with Loba, I have in the B tier. I think the best thing about her is the ability to have the have the batteries when you use her ult. I think that's very good to have. Uh, she is a mobile legend with her tactical. I have her in the B tier. I could definitely see why people would have her in the A tier. But B tier for sure uh, is where I have Loba. Now we have Rampart. And Rampart I have in the C tier. Uh, Rampart is a defensive legend just like Caustic and Watson, but I do feel like Rampart is more of a aggressive defensive legend if that makes sense. Rampart I think is C tier. She did get some buffs. I could definitely see why anyone would argue why she's a B tier legend, but for me I have her in C tier. The next legend that we have is Horizon. Horizon, I was debating whether to put in B tier or C, or C tier. I put Horizon in the category of B tier just because of the mobility or movement that she has with her gravity lift. To me, that's the only best thing about her. I mean, well, when you mix that gravity lift with passive, I think that's good. I think it's an easy way to pop off a battery if you're in trouble, so that helps out a lot. You could definitely trick enemies out with that. But other than that, I don't see much that she has to give to a team when it comes to arenas. So with that, I have her in the B tier. Now, the next legend is Fuse. Fuse is a 
can be an underrated legend. I think his abilities definitely do help out a lot with his nades and uh, arenas. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Fuse could actually carry six grenades in arenas, which is kind of crazy. Uh, I think he's definitely underrated when it comes to that. In that aspect, with Fuse, I have in the C tier. Um, I just I feel like he's more of an individual. He doesn't really give much to a team. So that, that is why I have him in C tier. Now the now we have Valkyrie. Valkyrie is a legend that I feel like is similar to legends like Wraith, Horizon, Loba, where they are very mobile or have movement to them with their abilities, but probably don't give as much to a team. Um, with this, I have Valkyrie at the B tier. I do know that all three of her abilities are useful when it comes to arenas, which some legends do not have that aspect, but I don't know. I, I feel like you could definitely argue with her and put her in the A tier, but for me, I have her in the B tier. Now we have Seer, and this one, I was debating on A tier or B tier. With this, though, I have Seer in A tier. The reason being is because of the information that he brings to a team. I mean, the fact that he could get his ult within every other round, um, I mean, is big time. I mean, his ult is very good in the arenas game that's why i have seer in a tier he's up there with crypto but bloodhound is there in the s tier so i have seer at a tier just because of the information he could give to a team with his ultimate now we have the last legend which is the newest legend in the game and that is ash now ash i have in the b tier the reason being is because i see her similar to legends like loba Valk, Horizon, and Wraith all have movement, all have mobility. But the thing is with her, I feel like she's more of a individual legend, just like those other legends. If you're with a team, I could definitely see her in the A tier, just because you can communicate with your teammates with the uh, portal. I feel like most of the time you're going to use the portal for individual purposes and try to flank the enemies or, you know, try, or try to be creative with that ability. But Ash, I have in the B tier, even though I do think all these legends that are in B and A tier are good legends. And like I said earlier in the video, every legend can be S tier if you use their abilities correctly and you use them to the fullest potential possible. But let me know in the comment section down below. But let me know down in the comment section down below, you know, are there anything that you would change in this legend tier list? Or do you agree with the majority of these? I know that there's going to be a, I know everybody's going to disagree with at least one legend. Is this legend tier list somewhat accurate? Accurate majority of it? or do you just disagree at all but this was the video if you could leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one